Hi guys, I know it's not the end of August yet, but since work will be hectic probably for the next two days, and I'll probably forget to record it, record, I said I'm going to do my August wrap up now because there's no way I could read my next book in two days. So I've already finished the books I'm going to read in August. And I have my September TBR, which is my five books I'm going to try to read in September, because I only got three out of five on my August TBR. And then the next ten books after that I'm going to read, so you know what I'm going to be reading next. So let's just jump into it. Okay, first book that I read in the month of August was Safe Haven by Nicholas Sparks. This one surprised me. Surprised me. So, I can't wait to read the next one, two that I have because I actually brought Dear John from my parents' house. And uh, I can't remember the next one, but it's not interesting. So, I got that this one out of the way. The next book that I read in August, which took me forever to read, even though it was a very short read read for me, was uh, Radiance by Alison Noel. Actually, I think I read Radiance first, because I remember reading this after The Darkest Minds, so scratch Safe Haven first. First up was Radiance that I read. It took me uh, three weeks to get through, because it was so boring. Because I started reading it in July, so that, and then it took me two weeks to get through Safe Haven, and the last final book that I just put up a book review for is The Game of Love and Death by Marfa Brookenberg, which I gave 7 out of 10 stars. So Radiance got, I think, a 5 out of 10, maybe a 6 out of 10, I can't remember. Uh, the Game of Love and got, Death got 7 out of 10, and Save Haven got 8 out of 10, I believe. So, my favorite book of the month has gone to Safe Haven, even though Game of Love and Death has almost trampled it. Just almost. It, if it wasn't for the fact that it lagged a little in places, I think I would enjoy it more than the fact that the historical fiction really isn't my thing, but I'm giving it a try. So, that one. And, uh, next up, we have my September 2BR, which is the five books I'm planning on reading in September, hopefully. I already started my first one after I finished the game of Love and Death, and that is Hex Hall by Rachel Hawkins. I'm actually using a photo of me and my boy boyfriend as a bookmark, as well as the tat. One of the tattoo ideas I showed you guys for my tattoo thing. But I uh, thought this was a very good bookmark. I just love it so much. And I'm already on chapter one of this book, page nine. So hopefully I finish this. Hopefully this isn't the only book I read in September. So that. Uh, next book I have for you here is my second book, and that is The Confessions of a Murder Suspect by James Patterson. This book I have gone somewhat into, into beforehand, so I'm going to be reading this one. James Patterson, it's kind of like, it's not that I hate him, but at the same time, his books kind of start off slow in the beginning, so I really have to Force myself. Not force myself. Swimsuit was a very intriguing book. So hopefully Confessions of Murder Suspect is as well. Next up we have one that my roommate Grace will be appreciated that it would appreciate that's my third book on my September 2 BR because she has read it and hopefully I'll get through it this month so I could do a Red Queen book review with her. And that is like I said, Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. So we could do that one. So Red Queen book review. Yay! If our schedules don't conflict with each other, which they usually do. But I love the cup. This part right here. I've heard good re mixed reviews about this one. So hopefully, you know, I'll give it a chance. Hopefully it impresses me. And next one, my fourth... September 2 BR, which I really hope I get to, but if I don't, I'll put it in my October 
to be read. And that book is Every Last Word by Tamara Ireland Stone. I've been really wanting to read this book, book since I got it, but since it was farther down in my 2BR, I haven't got to it yet. So I'm going to be reading this one for the fourth one. And then, last but not least, for my September 2BR, I have one that my ex-coworker Gina and my friend Gina would probably appreciate, and that is The Retribution of Maradar. And yes, Gina, I am go probably going to read this in September, maybe early October, if I'm lucky. And I already got to page 43 of this book. So hopefully, with this one. Okay, next up we have the top ten books after that that I'm going to be reading. Which, the first one that I have here is Tease by Amanda Missell. Missell. I'm excited for this book. I really haven't read any from the boys' point of view. So I'm hoping to get to this book in October. Maybe early November. Depending on my reading. Reading. Next up, I have Van Allen Legacy by Melissa De La Cruz. La Cruz. I read the first four Blue Bloods. I think this is the fifth one. I believe it's the fifth one. It might be the fourth one. But, you know, I'm behind in this series. I don't even know if this series has ended. That's how behind I am in the series. And the third book I have here for my to be read, and that is The Sky is Everywhere by Jandy Nelson. I've heard of Jandy Nelson. I've more heard of her book, I'll Give You the Sun. But I thought I'd read The Sky is Everywhere, which is her older book first, just to get a feel of her writing style before she wrote The Sky is Everywhere. I'll Give You the Sun. This one right here seems pretty awesome. I love the cover. Cover, and it seems more like a synopsis that I actually would get into. Okay, the fourth book I have here is one my friend Sarah Yaki really wants me to read, and that is Uglies by Scott Westerfeld. I'm getting closer, Sarah. I'm getting closer. I'm not quite there yet, but I'm getting closer to reading this book. Next one I have here is one I really don't want to finish reading, but since I got it, I got, I might as well finish reading it. And mostly, it's not that it's a bad storyline. It's more like the transitions in this book is just infuriating. And that is The Secret Life of Tristan Scott by H.M. Ward. I loved H.M. Ward series, Demon Kiss. I vouch for that series every time I have a my favorite book series. Or a tag list. But this one, this one I'm not very fond of. I haven't been fond of any of her books ever since Demon Kiss. Demon Kiss was, you know, the one series that you just love by the author, but you hate the rest of them. I think Demon Kiss was the only one I will truly love by this author. The other ones are just like, eh, for me. Sorry, it was true. Uh, the next one I have here is one that I've seen on BookTube. That gets a lot of buzz. But that I'm excited for, which is another Rachel Hawkins book, and that is Rebel Bell by Rachel Hawkins. I heard it's very kick-ass and very awesome. So, I'm looking forward to Rebel Bell. Bell. And the next one I'm extremely excited for, because it's technically my second LGBT novel now that I read, uh, read the game Love and Death. But it's more focused on the LGBT because it's involving main character. And that's uh, More Happy Than Not by Am Salveria is my next one. So I'm excited to read this one. This one, I'm glad it got closer. I'm glad it's not like the 80th book on my book list because I do have 80 books on my book list to get through. Yeah, yeah, I know. Sarah, stop buying so many books. I'm sorry, I have an addiction. I like books, and I cannot lie. And next one I have here is Legend by Marie Lu. I've heard good things about this book. Sometimes they're mixed. I love how it's a gold and black col color font. 
That's pretty nice. Next book I have is one that my coworker Gina, not co, my friend Gina was as she wasn't asked me to reread, but she's all like, but that book was so good. And I'm all like, I don't remember it being good. I don't really like this book. But there was a lot of hype centered around this book when I read it, so I thought I would reread it and give it another chance since I didn't read it all the way through. So I'll pick up where it left off and I'll reread it again, and that's Delirium by Lauren Oliver. So I got I'm getting to this one, Gina, I probably and then last but not least on my to-be-read list is Teardrop by Lauren Kate. I've heard mixed reviews about this one. Lauren Kate and generally her books I hear mixed reviews about. I love the Fallen series, so let's hope Teardrop is as good as good for me. And that concludes my August to be up. My August wrap-up and my September 2BR. I'm excited for some of these books. Some of them I'm just kind of like, oh, not really excited. It's more like books that I got, I got and didn't bother reading. Reading some of them. But some of them I got recently, so I'm excited for that. that. So if any of you guys have read any of these books, books uh d please don't po post spoilers down below but tell me what you think of them think of them personally and uh comment what you're gonna be reading this month all right thanks guys bye i'll see you hopefully for let's see what's tomorrow monday is movie review monday and i actually watched jennifer's body and 13 this week so maybe I'll review both of them. Who knows? Tomorrow's movie review Monday. Hopefully I can get my video up. And Tuesday. Transition Tuesday. Well, my hair was a pretty surprising transition. Transition. I didn't really... You know. The purple was kind of like a last minute decision thing. Thing for me. So I'll see you guys then. Alright. Bye.